Okay, everyone, welcome back. It is Mail Day once again. We'll do a midweek Mail Day episode. Uh, very excited. I still have more packages to open up for next ep uh, next episode. So if you guys have sent anything really recent or within like the last two or three weeks, it'll probably be included with the next episode. Uh, but very excited to get in here and, and open up some mail. It's been a while since I've done Mail Day, and I know there's quite a few people who still enjoy watching these Mail Day episodes. So we'll jump into this. Thank you to everyone who sent mail. If anyone out there wants to send anything, I do have a PO box available to the public. Is the uh, well, it's in the description below. So just copy and paste it, and you can enter into whatever format you want, or you can write it out. But uh, thanks to everyone who sent mail. Are we? Uh, are we? Maybe now we're good. Hopefully I didn't just screw it up. Anyway, uh, welcome back, and let's jump into it. So the first thing I have here is a letter. There is no name on this, but it looks like there was a gift in here. Uh, it did come from Boston, Massachusetts. It says enjoy on it. Enjoy. Uh, and it looks like there is literally no other letter or writing on here, but uh, someone sent me $10. So thank you for that, greatly appreciate it. I'll put it towards the gas fund on the channel to keep uh, creating great content and uh, keep treasure hunting. So I greatly appreciate that. Whoever sent me $10 in cash, awesome, thank you. I will gladly enjoy it. Um, and I wish you would have included a letter just so I could say thank you to you, but whoever sent it, thank you. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, so that's very cool. I know this one goes with that package back there, so we're gonna jump into packages over here. This one is from Sarah S. in Noonan, Georgia. So let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a, oh, this is from July 14th. So it's been a while. Dear Taco Stacks, I just realized it's been about two and a half years since the last time I wrote to you. Right before all the craziness started in 2020. How the time flies. My siblings and I still enjoy your videos. I didn't tell you this last time, but we even have a little jingle we made up that would go well with a cartoon version of your intro. Just a fun thought. I'm saying you a few things I hope you like. The plastic tubes have dividers in them to keep the silver around from scratching each other. I thought you might be able to use it for your silver collection. Thanks again for your fun and relatable content. Wishing you health and happiness in 2022 and beyond. Hugs to Salsa. I know we have an awesome picture of a, a penguin on the back or a penguin family. So that is very, very cool. So thank you for that, Sarah. Oh, these are the tubes. Getting stuck on my shirt. I think these tubes open up like this. So these are actually really, really neat. And then they pop open like so. I know with the lighting, it's probably very hard to see it because it's just like a blur, but there's ridges. Maybe I can, you can kind of see the ridges on the, there you go. Those are little ridges for individual, it's on the inside as well. For individual quarters or half dollars or whatever it might be. So that's really, really cool. It's a great way to store them rather than just keep them in plastic bags. Thank you for that. There is probably seven or eight of those. We do have something here. I thought this was a divider. It's not a divider. It is actually something. Packing kits everywhere. I hope Salsa doesn't see any of them. That goes over there. We have... A lot more of those guys. We'll put this somewhere. Is that now it's off screen? We'll put these back. So thank you for the wonderful gifts, Sarah. Something here. I see tacos. I think these are socks. Maybe they are. <laughs> If you can read this, bring me some tacos. We have taco socks. Very, very cool. Thank you for that, Sarah. It's almost high. You might be able to hear salsa breathing. She's panting very loud. We just went out for Zoomers. Um, very long socks or longer socks, tall socks, long socks, right? High socks. Um, it's almost that time of year where it's going to get very, very cold. So uh, that will be used here in the next couple of months. This side up, I do need scissors, but you know, I'll get ahead and do this one. I know what this is going to say before even, <laughs> I see it's tea, so I'm going to say it's going to say it's taco time. It is taco time. Thank you for this wonderful decorative license plate, Sarah. That is neat. Very, very neat. It's taco time. It's taco stacks time, so thank you for that. And then I got a pop up in this box, but it looks like I need a knife or something. I'm all tacoed out today.
Ah, very cool. Ceramic penguin. This might need a little stopper on the bottom. C ceramic. A ceramic penguin. That's very nice. Very nice glazing on them. Very neat looking penguins. So Sarah, thank you for the wonderful gifts. Very awesome, very, very awesome. It does have a little stopper on the bottom, so I don't know if this is supposed to be a bank. I was going to say a salt and pepper shaker, but man, that'd be a lot of salt you'd keep in that. You'd be very salty, I would say that. Uh, but thank you, Sarah. Thank you for the wonderful gifts. Hopefully all is well for you, and it's great to see your name again here. Like I said, I know your name does look familiar. Um, I do recognize it, so... Uh, thank you for the wonderful gifts. I know it's been a couple of years since you wrote to me, but thank you for being loyal for the past couple of years and greatly appreciate it. Thank you again. Okay, so we have two packages over here. Then we got one over here and one behind me. This one is from Raleigh. Uh, I think this, someone bought this for me. Ah. Aha. Yes, so these came from Jackie. I know Jackie sent me the last pair of shoes. Uh, these are actually waterproof shoes, I believe. Surprisingly, these are one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. I still wear the other ones. I wear them daily. They last me probably about three months. They're starting to split because they are, I guess, like kind of an off-brand name. But uh, up until once they started splitting, they have honestly been the most comfortable shoe. Um, and they are waterproof to an extent. Uh, but these are awesome for auctions. Uh, if you're someone out there who hates wearing boots like myself, these waterproof shoes are amazing. So, da uh, Jackie, thank you for the wonderful gift. I now have them in black. These should last me all the way through the winter. I don't know how they'll do with snow, but I'll let you guys and girls know. But, Jackie, thank you again for a wonderful gift. You sent me many gifts. Greatly appreciate the wonderful shoes. They'll be worn in many videos to be... I'll let salsa smell. They'll be worn in many, many more videos to be posted in the future. So... If you haven't checked out my other videos, she sent me a pair of beige shoes. Same exact brand. They work great. We have a package here from Walter and Larissa out of California. Like I said, some of these packages are from like late July. We're in September now. Where has time gone? I don't know. Nothing on that. Feels like a license plate. Eh, maybe it's not. Oh, uh, maybe it's. Oh. Hi, Taco. My wife watches your show very often. I watch you less often. <laughs> but that's due to my work schedule. We are into, we are very into dog rescue, so we especially like your videos when you feature salsa. Salsa's here. Anyways, this license plate might fit on your wall and belong to my stepdad when he was alive. He lived in Canada for a time in his young years before he connected to my family. It's been kicking around for so many years and has spent the last couple of months slowly working its way into an envelope to be mailed out to you. Also, there is a small pin for, for what you do as you see fit. Thanks for your content. Tell us all so Wolf Wolf Bark, she'll understand. Walter and Larissa. So Walter and Larissa sent me this wonderful license plate. I definitely do not have this one, and I have not finished the international wall by any means. Um, kind of got sidetracked with the license plate project once I completed the domestic wall. Um, or an American, I... It's also, there's water over there. There's water over there if you want it. She's breathing very heavily. Uh, but I never finished the international wall. I've always had a bunch of junk on that little countertop, so I haven't been able to really just like jump up there and throw stuff on there. But I'll try to try to dedicate like maybe 20 or 30 minutes to just figuring that out and then uh, putting some of these license plates up there. So any international plate I don't have will go on that wall. I am pretty confident I don't have this Alberta plate because I feel like I've seen a lot of license plates, and if I haven't seen it yet, probably means I don't own it. So with that said, thank you to Walter and Larissa for this wonderful, wonderful plate. You'll see it on the wall, hopefully in the next couple episodes, if not, like you said. It's taken a while for you to send it. Hopefully it does not take a while for me to put it up. But thank you for the wonderful plate. It'll be added to the collection. Hopefully all is well with you, and thanks again. All right. To round out this kind of a shorter mail day video, we do have two packages here from Robin. These were sent a while back. These were sent, uh, looks like June 23rd. 
Um, so yeah, they finally finally made it to mail day. Uh, it's probably been my oldest, oldest package I have there in the, in the lot. There's no older packages. I think it's the last one from June. But this is from Robin B. in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Thank you for sending me wonderful packages. Like I said, there are two here. This I think was marked, one's marked one of two, one's marked two of two. So yeah, one of two. Do this in chronological order. Uh-oh, what do we have here? It's a mystery box of items. <laughs> West 4th Street, downtown New York City League, Greenwich. So this is, this is probably from what's called the Cage. It's on West 4th Street in Greenwich Village. It's a basketball court, uh, very well known. It's made by Old Navy, this hat is. Um, I've been there so many times. I've never actually sat and played on that court. I never even shot a basketball on that hoop or any of the hoops on that court. Um, but it's very, very well known. This might be a letter. This is the letter. Dear Taco and Salsa, I'm a widow lady and been a big fan of yours for at least a couple of years. I've always enjoyed your content no matter what it is. I've sent you a couple boxes of things that I've picked up at the Goodwill bins, hoping you can get some use out of it. Take good care of yourself and Salsa. Sincerely, a big fan of Robin B. from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Well, Robin B., thank you for all the wonderful gifts, and thank you for being a loyal fan for the past couple of years. I greatly appreciate it, and it's awesome to see other people who enjoy the binge just like me. We have a baseball glove here. It's, it looks like a promotional glove. McDonald's on the inside. I've not seen this. Uh, I've never seen a McDonald's baseball glove. It's got a Colonel's patch in the back. That is very, very neat. I've never seen that. I wonder if, I guess you got at the, I guess you got all this at the bins. This is an atomizer. I don't think I've ever seen an atomizer. We have a tray. Oh, this is really nice. Anderson and Swanson Furniture Dealers and furner, Funeral Directors. Day phone 15. You don't find a lot of advertisement like that, especially funeral. Funeral advertisement. It's a very collectible market. That is very neat. I have never seen something like this. A tray that has, I don't know what you'd put on that. Maybe, uh, I don't know. That's one thing I, I have never seen. We do have a couple baseball hats. We have another baseball hat. We have the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's even got a print on the bottom. We have a flag. Is this a, uh, Oh, it's Milwaukee Brewers. I don't know if it's backwards because I can't see the camera, but it looks like Milwaukee Brewers. It could very well have been backwards. Probably wasn't. Oh, I see a Harley thing in here. We have a... What? We have a... Uh-oh, Salsa's getting carried up. Yep. I forgot Salsa likes paper products. This is very interesting. This is a Superman hat. Oh, here's another one of those trays to match it. So you have two trays. This is a Superman hat, but it's made by New Era. Like, it's legit. It's not like an off-brand hat. That is interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. It's actually a really well-made hat. A little snow. Snow item. We have a Harley. Is this Harley? This might be Harley. Is this Harley? Colorado's 2004, it's a little canvas bag. The good old bins by you must be really, really good because they're not that great here. We have an item here, we have another penguin. <laughs> and this is almost like one of those squishmallows, but it's also another penguin. So very, very cool. I'm gonna jump into the other box and hopefully Salsa will not eat any of this. I wanted to see what was in this thing. TI, is this a calculator? This might be a calculator. Wow, that is vintage. SR10. AI calculator. As the sun just came out right now, and now it's going to be really, really hot in here, and it's getting very humid. So let me make some space here for the last box. Job. All right. So this is the second box from Robin. Thank you for this, and thank you for going to the bins and sending me all these wonderful gifts. I really enjoyed them. This. Oh, that's cool. That's a. Uh... Looking at this, trying to figure out what it is. It looks like it's a pillow with golden retrievers on it, but it also has the Olympics on it. 
Those are well, that's got one small golden retriever, and it's got the uh, yeah, salt. Hey. But this sauce is chewing on every box. I don't know what the other kind of dog is that's on there, but it's an Olympic pillow. I've never seen that. It's an Olympic pillow. <laughs> that's very interesting. Beijing 2008. Oh, it comes with a shirt. Chase Authentic. So, oh, is this a. Looks like it could be NASCAR. What this NASCAR shirt is. Dale Earnhardt. I've not seen that print before. Dale Earnhardt on the back. Chase Authentics. That is an awesome shirt. Thank you for the wonderful Dale Earnhardt shirt. It is vintage, early 2000s. Um, and it looks like you included a whole bunch of sports cards. We have some fabric as well for Dale Earnhardt. We have all sorts of sports cards here. Football, 1993. More football. Oh, Michael Strahan. That's probably one of the only people I know from, from the 90s who played football. Well, I know a bunch more, but I grew up a Giants fan. I haven't been really watching Giants too much. We did get that win last week. I did watch that game. It's just been a bad couple of years. Um, so I've just not been watching football at all. Uh, oh, we got some hockey too. Hockey cards and more football cards. And we have some other little figurines here. Some baseball figurines. That's awesome. And then lastly, two whole sets. It looks like this had come from Goodwill at one point. Whole boxes of sports cards. So Robin, thank you so much for the wonderful, wonderful gifts. Thank you for shopping at Goodwill and picking this stuff up for me. I greatly appreciate that. Hopefully all is well with you in Iowa. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Um, I'll even throw a Spider-Man. Keep wanting to call him Su or Spooder. I really, Spider-Man, Superman. I really hope I haven't been calling him Spider-Man this whole time. But thank you for all the wonderful gifts and thank you again for a wonderful package, multi-packages that is. Um, hopefully all is well for you, and of course, thank you again for a wonderful mail day. Thank you. All right, everyone, so that's going to wrap it up here for another wonderful mail day episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed If you guys want to send anything to my P.O. Box, and uh, P.O. Box, you just see salsas there, so tuckered out from uh, chewing on the boxes. But if anyone wants to say anything to my P.O. Box, I will open up on camera. My first, or my, my P.O. Box is in the description below. All you have to do is copy and paste it. But other than that, it's been an awesome day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. It'll be something fun. Thanks again for all the wonderful packages. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.